It's a Reddit user put together a sitcom featuring Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and it's 100% AI generated. Watch this. Hey, Don, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Joe. Try to take over the world. And how are we going to do that, Don? We'll launch a line of hair care products called Hair Force One. We'll make billions and use the profits to control the world. But Don, isn't your hair already a national treasure? Why, thank you, Joe. With your smile and my hair, we'll be unstoppable. Okay, so in this case, the user used this prompt to generate the script for the sitcom using ChatGPT. How do you feel about adding some ice cream to the mix? Joe, ice cream doesn't belong in hair products, but since it's your favorite, we can have some as a treat after we finish our batch. Ice cream, I'll scoop to that. Norf. Okay, and uh, for voices, he used 11 labs. So I have a video, I'll put a link to it. You can actually use 11 labs to create realistic voices. So here is like one that's available on the website. The most realistic and versatile AI speech software ever. 11 brings the most comp but you can fine-tune it to any device you want. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Hair Force One, the ultimate hair care solution for world domination. It'll make your hair so soft you'll feel like a fluffy kitten. We're making money hand over comb, Joe. World domination. Okay, it's actually pretty well done because uh, it's not only the script, but the prompt that we used to generate these videos as well. And the videos were generated using another open source software. So this is a model called a text-to-video synthesis uh, model scoop. Uh, I have a video of how to create videos um, using the model scoop, so I'm going to put a link to that as well. This is just a glimpse of what personal entertainment could look like in the future. Now, you might think that uh, the video quality is pretty bad, but uh, later in the video, I'm going to show you another uh, open source model which is able to generate pretty consistent and high-quality videos. Now, here's another example of somebody uh, put together a text to video uh, for Iron Man flying to meet his fans. And it's actually pretty well done uh, as well. And the way it's done is um, they put together just like three seconds clips and then I made a 28 second video out of it. However, a group from uh, Microsoft Research just uh, published this paper at a diffusion or diffusion for extremely long video generation. And here they showed that you can generate much longer uh, videos. So they actually give an example of a Flintstone um, episode, which is 11 minutes long. And here is the episode. So the way it works is uh, for different segments, they uh, also included these prompts that were provided. So for example, a cartoon title card for the Flintstones, right? Uh, that's like the first one. And then Fred is saying something in the room and it generated the video. So they are simply combining those together uh, to get much longer videos. And the quality of these videos are much better. Uh, there is a lot more temporal coherence uh, in this video compared to what we just saw. It's simply amazing to look at the progress because the first text to video open source softwares was released just last week. And, and now you have this new software with the help of which you can generate much longer videos uh, and they look much better you don't really see any deformities at all. So it's amazing how much progress is, has been made in uh, such a short uh, period of time. So here's a quick overview of uh, this paper from Microsoft. So initially, they had these 16 different prompts, uh, and based on each one of them, they generated uh, 16 frames. So here are the frames that are generated. Then uh, they simply uh, extrapolated these frames and extended those to two, uh, 26 frames, then like even further extending them to over 3,000 frames and then uh, they simply put together uh, to get a full video out of it. In closing of the video, I wanted to share this other insane new model uh, which helps you edit 3D scenes with simple text. So uh, a few weeks ago, I made this video how to edit images just with uh, text prompts. But this paper takes that work to a next level. This paper is called Instruct Nerve to Nerve. Uh, essentially what they're doing is they have these uh, 3D scenes and just by using text instructions, uh, they are able to modify these scenes. So for example, put a mustache, uh, change it to a bronze statue or can change him to uh, Albert Einstein. Now, how does it work? So essentially what you do is you take your object and you take 360 images around the object, right? And then uh, for each of the image, you simply apply instruct picks to picks 
to modify that image. So for example, here is uh, an example of all the uh, key point frames. Uh, and then uh, the instruct pix to pix model is applied to it to modify them, right? And uh, as a result, uh, you get some pretty cool results. So let's say this is the original uh, scene that was created from uh, 360 frames, right? And then uh, just by uh, the instruction, so let's say make it autumn, uh, it really changed the whole uh, uh, scene, right? And, and the, the results are pretty consistent. So here's another one. Uh, a Namibian desert, uh, and it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, but here's another one, you can change it to midnight, uh, change the weather completely. This is pretty nice. Or uh, put a strong over there. Um, and it doesn't look like that uh, uh, it's not a real video. So so that's be amazing. Okay, so let's look at another example. So for example, uh, we have uh, a bear, right? So you want to change it to a grizzly bear, change it to panda bear, polar bear, and this looks pretty great. This video was a little different than what I usually create, so there's not a, not a tutorial, but I wanted to share uh, the state-of-the-art approaches that are happening and nobody else is really covering these because these are not mature products yet. If you like this video and would like to see uh, similar state-of-the-art approaches, please comment and I'll make more of these. Don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. This is definitely an iPhone moment for AI. And what a time to be alive. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.